Hey guys, this is Aaron. Today I want to look at an extension that just came out for Mindsight Studios called Skimp. Skimp is a utility to help you manage high polygon models. Um, it functions real well if you need to import a model that has a whole lot going on, a whole lot of faces, surfaces, simplifying it inside of SketchUp, and just kind of keeping those, uh, those files tidy and usable inside of SketchUp. SketchUp, of course, was created for architectural modeling, so it can get bogged down with a bunch of real small detailed files, um, plus it has a hard time creating geometry when you're super small, so Skimp covers a lot of uh, issues people run into, especially with importing small, highly detailed models. So we're going to hop right in and take a look at Skimp right now. So before we can actually dive into what Skimp does, we want to look at what the alternative is. So I want to hop into an existing model that I have right now. And this is a file I just imported. So I just imported this STL file. And um, you can see it looks OK. It looks a little dark. It's got lots of lines. Each of those lines represents an edge of a face. You can see there is a lot of them. In fact, let's see exactly how many there are. Um, let's get rid of Mark real quick. Sorry, Mark. Grab you by the toe. It's also small. It's meant to be 3D printed. But if I come in here right now and I go to model info, I can see that this has, you know, 1.23 million faces on it. So a dense model for sure. Um, it is showing up dark because it's a whole bunch of lines. So I can maybe, I'll go into my styles temporarily and turn my lines off so you can just see edges. And a couple things happen here. I see some surfaces, they're all white, but I also see these blue things. These blue things are holes in the mesh because these were so small, SketchUp could not draw them on the import. Whoops, I just flew you inside of a lion's nose. So these are little holes in the mesh. And see, that is an issue. If I had to re-import, I would probably re-import maybe larger, much bigger, so that SketchUp could successfully create those faces. The other thing to think about is when I imported this, it took about seven minutes to import. And you can see it's not even a, a usable mesh. I'd have to do some work in Mesh Mixer or something like that, upsize it to get it to come in so it didn't have all these holes in it. So not an ideal import to begin with. So let's go see what happens when we use Skimp to do the same exact file. So I'm gonna start by just clicking on the, when you, when you activate Skimp, you get this nice tidy little toolbar. I have an import and optimize, I think it is, uh, simplify selection. Um, there is a paint bucket tool for replacing materials and then a settings settings I will let you guys dive in deeper into settings But you can see there's all kinds of information in here about the threshold how it's going to go through and optimize the meshes as they're imported um, Or as you're simplifying a selected mesh um, I'm going to stick with the default and I'm going to come in here to import So it's going to ask me what do you want to import? I'm going to import the exact same STL file import on the other one and I'm going to click open. So like I said, what this is going to do is it's going to import that data, the same exact data that got pulled into that other file. But the difference is it's going to run that simplify mesh on it. And you can already see it came in that quicker. That was a lot quicker than the seven minutes that it took to import with the native import command. All right. So I'm halfway through the import right now. Right now it's showing me a representation of this file. On the Skimp UI, you can see there's a bunch of information here. One is modeling units. You notice this is probably a lot bigger than what you saw before. I think because this was probably exported in millimeters. So if I was to click millimeters, it would scale down. So yeah, that looks like that was actually what it imported before. That looks correct. But if I did want to scale it up, it's just as quick as clicking on one of these buttons to resize that model. Um, I can rotate. Sometimes models, especially SK, or, I'm sorry, STL files, are in a weird orientation for printing, something like that. But you can quickly and easily transform those on import. But the big thing is right here, this slider. So right now, it's simplifying to 40,000 faces. Remember from my 1.23 million faces, which is about a little over 2% of the original geometry. I can take this now and... With denser meshes, this obviously takes a little bit longer to redraw, but I can increase or decrease how many surfaces I actually need in there. So you can see if I just jump to about 25%, that 
to me looks plenty dense to see exactly what's going on inside this mesh. I can read that welcome. I can see the owl on the shield. Um, I can make out the details in the lion's face. So that oh, let's, let's do an exact 25%. All right, so that's gonna give me under half a million faces. If that looks good enough, if I'm happy with that, I can just click on import. And what that'll do then is actually go create a group then, a component of that file that I'm importing. And I just have it as a SketchUp geometry at that point. So there we go. That is fully imported and simplified. And you also see that Skimp goes that little extra mile and smooths the whole thing over as well. Pretty cool. So that's a good looking mesh right there. That alone is, is huge. I mean, simplifying that and importing it. But what I can also do at any time is I can actually select this and I can click on the simplify button. What this is going to do is take that model. This doesn't have to be an imported STL file either, but take that group and pull it up in the same interface I saw before. So I could go through and simplify it again. So if that was still too much geometry for a reason, I could take that and scale it back down. So not only is this a great importer, if you're importing that geometry, it's also an amazing tool to optimize complex geometry while you're inside of SketchUp. So that's just a quick look at Skimp. It is an amazing tool for importing and simplifying meshes right inside of SketchUp. If you do any kind of importing of files, you know how heavy they can get and how dense that can be, and it can actually cause issues in SketchUp. So if you're importing not only STL files, but things like FBX, OBJ, DAE files, take a look at Skimp. It's well worth the trial through Mindsight Studio's website, and if it's something that you do a lot of, it's pretty easy to justify the cost. It's not very expensive. So check it out. We'll link to their website down below and uh, try Skimp. Let us know what you think, if it's something that's going to fit into your workflow. Thank you.